Hello, I'm Ashley Madden, and today I'll be bringing you Elder's April weather update. Today we'll be looking at the March rainfall in 2024 and the soil moisture in WA in March 24 versus what we saw in October 2023. Then we'll be going into the sea surface temperatures and how that will influence our outlook for May and June in terms of rainfall. March was a wet month for the north and interior of WA, while the parched southwest missed out. Several sites recorded the highest daily rainfall on record in the interior. The healthy rainfall across the state's interior has replenished soil moisture, while below average soil moisture continues to impact the state's southwest. Some areas recorded the highest root zone soil moisture on record in March 2024. You can see that the soil moisture has improved dramatically from October 2023 in these areas. Unusually warm sea surface temperatures are sitting off the southwest coast. They could provide additional moisture to cold fronts or rain bearing systems. This could enhance rainfall or thunderstorm activity in the region. Late autumn and winter are an active time for thunderstorms in the southwest of Australia. Most of these thunderstorms and rain events are linked to cold fronts sweeping across the country during the winter months. Models suggest that WA could see fewer rain bearing cold fronts in the next few months on average due to a positive phase of the southern annual mode. However, when these cold fronts do come through, they have the potential to produce decent rainfall and thunderstorms due to these warm sea surface temperatures. We are now transitioning to the wettest time of year for southwest WA, so even areas that see below average rain in the coming months are unlikely to be completely dry. Average to below average rain is expected across WA in the next few months, but models hint at locally above average rain in the state's southwest during June. This is likely due to above average sea surface temperatures near the southwest coast. In summary, we saw a wet March for the north and interior of WA. Unfortunately, it missed the state's southwest. This rainfall increased soil moisture in these areas, while areas of the southwest are recording the driest soil moisture on record. May to October are the wettest months of the year for southern parts of a WA. However, we're forecasting average to below average rainfall during May. There are signs of wet periods during winter. Warm ocean temperatures combining with cooler air masses could trigger thunderstorms and heavy rainfall events. <laughs>